When did you know you wanted to do this, Russell, to put on these camps? Is this something that kind of dated back to when you were in college or when you first kind of got situated in Seattle? You know, I started doing it my junior year in high school. Um, you know, I, I started doing it my junior year in high school. I, I told my, my chief business officer, Scott, I told him uh, back then, he's my best friend, and I said, Scott, you know, I want to put these camps together for these kids one day when I play in the NFL. You know, this, this is what I want to do. So we mapped out the whole idea. We planned it all. We had about 100 kids at our first camp, 125 kids at our first camp in Richmond. And that's kind of how it started off and then went through college. I couldn't really do it in college because I was playing football and baseball. And then obviously I transferred here. And then, uh, But as soon as I got to the pros, that's the first thing that I said that I wanted to do. And it, it's, been a, it's been a great hit so far. I mean, we've gone from the East Coast to the Midwest, and we're about to hit the West Coast here soon. So I wanted to make the biggest, baddest camp you know, ever, really, to be honest with you. What did your year at Wisconsin mean to you, and what did it do for your career? I meant everything, just to be able to come here and, and to be welcomed here and to uh, meet new people, a place that I never really, truly, honestly, never really thought of seeing myself being at. Uh, it was just an honor being here. And great school, uh, great coaching staff, and great players. You know, the guys coming back in this locker room, even though it's a lot nicer now, <laughs> which I'm kind of bitter about. But, <laughs> um, but coming back here, just this this facility and just being around the guys, the guys I played with um, that st are still playing here, the guys that I play with that aren't here anymore and are in the NFL or whatever they're doing, and then also the guys that I didn't play with before, you know, the older guys, uh, just to, for them to come back and just uh, for us to share these moments, it's a family. And just having a family like this and at, at University of Wisconsin is really something special and, and something that you cherish. What's the next step for you in your development as a quarterback? I think the biggest step is just continue to work on the footwork, continue to um, continue to be poised in the pocket, and just take one day at a time. You know, I think that's the challenge in this game. Uh, as a pro 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 professional athlete, uh, stuttered there, my bad. But as a professional athlete, I just think that just playing one play at a time, one game at a time, staying in the moment. And I think I've done a pretty good job of that so far. And how much how much further can I take that? You know, you got to be great on third down, be great in the red zone, and I think that I definitely grew over the past year, and now let's, let's see where the next year goes. Did, did you silence criticism, or do you, do you hear anything out there still? I don't think criticism is ever really silenced, to be honest with you. I mean, LeBron James has won so many championships, and he's still getting criticized. I haven't done anything yet. You know, so when you think about it that way, you know, there's a lot of things that I have to accomplish and a lot of things that you have to do, and, and I'm never satisfied. I don't worry about the critics. Like I used to always say, as you guys know, you know, I ignore the noise. You know, it's one of those things that you just focus on the things that you can control and stay in the moment and just uh, continue to get better. Can you describe what the last year has been like? I mean, since you left here and now you come back, I mean, it's been a blur? Uh, I wouldn't say it's been a blur. I, I'm pretty I'm pretty mapped out. You know, i got my schedule pretty mapped out pretty much all the time. So I kind of know what, what's going on. But it, it's, it has gone by a little bit fast, you know, to play the past year and to have an amazing season the way we did, um, you know, last year. But we didn't accomplish what we wanted to accomplish, and that's to, you know, win the Super Bowl and win the NFC West. Um, but now it's on, on to a new year, and this year's challenge is going to be a lot, a lot different. Every year is a different year, and you just have to continue to grow and, and learn from the lessons that you've had in the past and, and uh, adjust on the fly sometimes. And, and so I think, you know, this past year, I think playing these camps in the offseason, um, you know, for these inner city kids, you know, is really something special for me just because this is what I want to do. I'm still coaching football. I'm still around these kids, you know, around football as much as I can, but traveling and, and – uh, just trying to influence as many kids as I can because I think, I think that's what's really important, especially with this platform. Somebody from Oregon and <laughs> Seattle because Oregon's not too far away. I think about it. every time uh, Coach Bevel always brings it up because I think they won, they won the Rose Bowl and I, I have got nothing on them now. And uh, so, yeah, I, I think about it all the time. But, you know, you learn from those lessons and you just learn, man, there's one more play here and there. You know, and that's how, that's how football is. When you're playing – you know, at a high level of college football, like, like, you know, Wisconsin versus Oregon or whatever it is, you know, you have to be precise on every play. Everybody has to be tuned in every play. And, and there's going to be plays where you're going to win some and lose some. You know, you just learn from it. And I think as, as an NFL football player, you have to minimize those plays even more. And I think that's what is really important as a quarterback in the National Football, football League and, and for the Seattle Seahawks. Russell, last year in Seattle, you guys beat the Packers. Now this year, you come to Green Bay. I know it's only preseason, but what kind of expectations do you have when you come to town? Well, I, you know, I'm trying to figure out if people are going to boo me from last year's game or <laughs> if they're going to cheer me on because of Wisconsin. I don't know. I'm not really worried about that. It's going to be an exciting, exciting game. Just to, I've never played in Green Bay. And I've never been there. To be honest with you, I was going to go. I was going to go when I was here, and, the, and we had a practice for the Rose Bowl, so I couldn't go. 
Um, but, uh, you know, I'm excited to go. I know the fans there are amazing. Uh, they're very, very respectable coaches. I love the coaches that coach me in, in the Pro Bowl. Um, so the, I like the coaches there a lot. So I'm excited to, to go up there and play. Have you you've met Coach Anderson? What, what do you think of him? Well, he's terrific. You know, he, he brings so much uh, intelligence to the game, he brings a little fire to the game. Uh, he's young, he keeps it fun for the players. Uh, his coaching staff's great. Uh, you know, I've been around the, some of the assistant coaches and also uh, the strength and conditioning coaches as well. I've worked out with the team, you know, kind of just ran with them a little bit the other day. And so just kind of being around those guys was pretty cool for me. And, uh, you know, Coach Anderson's a great coach, and I'm wishing him the best of luck. Are you surprised at the amount of change over this program has had since you left from coaches to players and support staff leaving? Is that surprising? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think you're surprised. I think as a, as a pro athlete, as a person who's, you know, been around professional sports a lot, you know, that happens. You know, you gotta, you got to understand it's going to happen because it's a good thing. It's not necessarily, I mean, it's not a great thing, but it's a good thing because what that shows is people are being successful. And when people are successful, you know, people have to take, take that next step. You know, whether it's Coach Bieloma, which he took a, you know, another step, uh, you know, and, and I'm happy for him to doing what, you know, whatever he decided. You know, it's, he, he felt like that was the best decision for him. And so, you know, you support that. You have, you have, I have to support that. He, I think he's a, a great coach. He, he, he treated me, you know, great. And so, you know, you got other coaches, you know, Coach Anderson's here, and I know he's going to do a ter terrific job. So you have to move on. And that's what, that's, what, that's what it is about. You know, all the college players, you know, they, they move on. They come in into in college and they, they either go to the professional sports or some other profession. And that's just how it is. That's how it you know, evolves and you just have to get used to it. Did any of the success last season surprise you? No, not at all. I mean, to be honest with you, I think I work so hard at it. You know, I, I make sure that I prepare the right way and I'm always mentally focused. I think that's what allows me to be successful. And I had to take that much more. I have to take that another step. Just keep going. Keep climbing that mountain. Keep growing. And if I can do that, I, you know, I have a, I give myself a good chance. Now that you're established, what are you looking forward to in round two of the NFL? Your second season through. Oh, the first game. And I think the, the thing that I'm looking forward to is just getting back to practice. And, uh, July 27th, I believe, is when we start. So just to get back with those guys, and we have such a great team. The the the, the positive synergy around our football team is unbelievable. And so to be around those guys is, is going to be pretty awesome again, and, and we text back and forth, group text. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun to be back and getting ready for games. Are you playing golf in this AmFam thing? Oh, man, I'm, I'm trying. i played baseball my whole life. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I haven't played too much golf. So I've I, I practiced a couple times, but I don't know. I don't want to be saying four a lot. <laughs>